Hi, my name is Sam and in this video I'm going to show you how to configure a site-to-site -site VPN between two Cisco ASA firewalls. This is the network topology and the IP addressing scheme I'm going to use for this demonstration. I have two Cisco ASA firewalls, FW1-cert videos and FW2-cert videos. This is the internet router and I have two hosts representing the two LANs 192.168.1.0 and 192.168.2.0. I have the IP addresses and the routing already in place and I have two access lists configured on the ASAs to allow the ICMP in both directions. You can see that here access list inside and outside in both allowing ICMP in both directions. Same thing on FW2-Z videos. Okay so let's get started. Uh, now the first thing uh, in order to configure a site-to-site -site VPN is to allow the ICMP I'm sorry, to allow the VPN traffic to flow from the lower security level interface to the higher security level interface. Now you could do this in two ways. You can either create an access list or you can use the command sysopt, sysopt connection permit hyphen VPN. Now this command basically allows the traffic, the VPN traffic to flow from the lower security level interface to the higher security level interface. I'm going to enter the same command on the FW2-insert videos. Okay, next you need to enable the ISA KMP on the outside interface. So I'm going to say crypto ISA KMP enable outside. The same thing on the FW2 crypto ISA KMP enable outside. Okay, next uh, we need to create an ISA KMP policy on both the firewalls. Uh, I already have it defined here. I'm just going to copy this from here and paste it here. Okay, so I have the policy named uh, 100. Encryption is AES, authentication pre-share, hashing is SHA, defilement group 2. Next, uh, we need to create a tunnel group. So I'm going to say tunnel hyphen group. And it, currently I'm sitting on this firewall, FW1 hyphen cert videos and the remote end for this VPN or for this firewall is this guy which is 200.1.1.1 so I'm gonna say tunnel hyphen group 200.1.1.1 and the type is IPsec L2L next we need to define the pre-shared key so tunnel hyphen group 200.1.1.1 IPsec attributes pre-shared key is cert videos dot com okay um, next we need to create an access list that defines the interesting traffic in this case the traffic the interesting traffic is from the 192.168.1.0 network to the 192.168.2.0 network so I'm gonna say access list I'll call it VPN and permit IP from 192.168.1.0 to 255.255.255.0 to 192.168.2.0.255.255.255.0 Next I need to create a transform set so crypto IPsec transform set let's call it trans ESP SHA HMAC ESP AES next we need to create a crypto map so crypto map let's call it crypto sequence number 100 set peer the peer for this connection is this IP address 200.1.1.1 which is this guy so 200.1.1.1 and crypto map crypto match the access list VPN and crypto map crypto set transform set trans which we already defined Finally, I need to apply this onto the interface. So I'm going to say crypto map crypto interface outside. Now that is all the configuration that you need to do on the ASA1, which is the FW1-Z videos. I'm going to hop onto the FW2-Z videos and create this create the same ISA KMP policy. Just copy this and paste it here. Same policy. Next, I need to create a tunnel group. In this case, I'm currently sitting on FW2 hyphen set videos, which is this firewall you can see here. And the, the peer IP address for this is going to be this guy, 
which is 100.1.1.1. So tunnel hyphen group 100.1.1.1. Type is IPsec L2L. Next, uh, I'm going to define the pre-shared key. So tunnel hyphen group 100.1.1.1. IPsec attributes. Pre-shared key. Set videos. Not count. Okay. Next, uh, we need to define an access list that will allow the interesting traffic. In this case, the traffic would be from the 192.168.2.0 network to the 192.168.1.0 network. So I'm going to say access hyphen list. Uh, let's call it VPN again. Permit IP from the network 192.168.2.0 to 255.255.255.0. 255.0. Okay. Next, we need to create a transform set. So, crypto IPsec transform set. Let's call it trans again. ESP is such a HMAC. ESP AES. Okay. Next, uh, we need to create a crypto map. Let's call it crypto again. And let's use the sequence number 200. Set peer. The peer for this connection is this IP address 100.1.1.1. So, 100.1.1.1 crypto map crypto 200 match the access list VPN okay and crypto map crypto set the transform set as trans okay finally we need to apply this onto the interface so crypto hyph crypto map crypto interface outside now that's it with the configuration let's see if we have a tunnel up and running show crypto isa can be sa there are no isa can be sa's uh, so we need to initiate some traffic from the host one to the host two so i'm going to hop onto the host one which is this fellow just going to terminate this and issue a new ping 192.168.2.2. Okay, so now host one is able to ping host two. Let's see if we have the tunnel up and running. Show crypto ISA can be SA. Yep, there you go. And finally, let's see if we have the packets being encrypted. Show crypto IPsec SA. All right, there you go. You can see packets being encrypted and decrypted. Let's do it one more time. Yep, there you see. So that is how you configure a site-to-site -site VPN between two Cisco ASA firewalls. Thank you for watching.